beautiful day. We'd like to welcome you to CMS Instructional Technology number six. Today's date is April 12th, 2011. I'm Tim Smith. And I'm Jake Standish. Here's the idea. There are a lot of great ideas out there, and we would love to share them with you all. Each week, we will do our best to focus on one concept and one idea. Hi, I'm Jenny, and for the sixth CMS IT Weekly, we are going to discuss the Google Advanced Search and how you can apply it to 21st century learning. And last week, Tim and Jake had talked to you about the Partnership for 21st Century Skills and referenced that website, and we will be talking a little bit more about that today. Right. So uh, today we are going to look at the thinking and learning skills, uh, both uh, addressed in the P21, and we're going to apply that to uh, critical thinking and problem solving skills, and information and media literacy skills as we discuss Google Advanced Search, and you we're know, also going to look at some other things. There's a lot of information out there in Google. Yes, there is. There is. So we definitely need to understand that the 21st century skills are larger than just like technology skills. I think yes. we get I think we get wrapped up in that. People think 21st century learning, 21st century learning it's skills, about stuff, stuff. Right. And you know, it's not. And it's also larger than just technology. So there's life skills involved in this. And I think we all understand that when we're speaking to our students that we have an opportunity to teach them about life. So some of the life skills we're going to be talking about, especially since we're going to be searching the entire internet and using it to share ideas that there's ethics, accountability, and even personal productivity. I don't know have you guys ever been on the internet and realized I have no idea where my time went? Uh, All the time. Every day. Wait, <laughs> I'm not alone. <laughs> Did you just say every day? <laughs> just about. Man. Start my day planning to do lots of things. And I jumpstart my day suddenly every day, I'm, too. I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere on the internet. You're everywhere? You're everywhere. I don't know. I, you know, I've looked at some of your screens. Can I be honest? I've, I've looked at what you guys do on the internet, and I see a bunch of tabs all the way across. And? Kind of do like you the ever, one up here. Yeah. Do you ever go back? Of course. Yeah. No, you don't. So anyhow. Of course I do. <laughs> okay. So personal productivity. you got to get focused at some point. Yes. So uh, all these skills take a place. And so today, as Jake, you already said, we're going to talk about Google Advanced Search. Yes, we are. Cool. So let's go to the Google Advanced Search. Now, to get hey, there. Thanks, because I was going to ask. Just how did I type, got there? Just type in Google.com. Good. That's a good site. So you got your search. And there's this nice little link next to the text field where you could type in your search, but if you want to get more advanced with your search, just click on Advanced Search. You know, when I receive that Advanced Search, I think there's like way too many options. Actually, there are many options. Yeah. Each one of them is a valuable tool in okay. and of itself All right. that can help you. It is worth the time. Okay. Take us through a few of them, Jake. So um, you can um, type in many different uh, text fields here, like your typical search, uh, all the words. You can also... Uh, do different phrasings and uh, various operators. It's it's kind of taken the Boolean uh, search term. Are you and sure it's Boolean? I'm pretty sure it's Boolean. Yeah, because we spent like 10 minutes looking it up on the internet yes. making sure we said it right. Google Boolean. Translate Boolean. actually will uh, pronounce it for you. So that was uh, excellent. So Boolean search terms that you learned uh, way back when you had your, yes. your library and teach you the correct way to search for things. Way, way back. Now, Google kind of makes this interface, which is, I don't know about you, but I think that's a lot easier than... Yeah. I mean, honestly, though, terms. for the most part, I just go straight to Google. So Google Advanced Search is still a little new to me. Well, let's get schooled. I like to be schooled. Actually, um, there are different things. Take, take your Boolean search terms okay. as an example, Tim. What are some ones that you used? Uh, and... And or good, good. Those are those are here. I can see that. Well, perhaps Jen, Jen, okay. you can help us out. Sure, here. sure. One of the ones that I use almost all the time is the phrase search, where you put quotations around your keywords. Okay. Um, so, example, if you were looking for a famous person like Alexander Bell, you could put Alexander Bell in quotes instead Interesting. of. Interesting. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I do speak in quotes all the time. Yes. Those you do. were the air quotes too, for <laughs> people out there not watching the video. Thank you. For but you're not that. talking about air quotes, are you? No, I'm not. I'm okay. talking about actual quotes that you can put in the search engine. Oh, okay. And here you can see that when you put the double quotes around a set of words, you are actually telling Google to consider those exact words in that exact order without any change. Okay. So, the so you couldn't even put an, an initial in between there? You could if you wanted to. But but it's not going to find anything that like it was Correct. Alexander G. 
bell. Right. That wouldn't be there. Exactly. Okay. So I use I've used this since my college days, high school days, and I really I find that the results that I get are a lot more specific and focused. So I recommend using this in right. your search. And then another one that you can use is or. So for example, if you were looking for research or search results on the hurricane or tsunami keywords, you could type in both and you would get results for each of those items. Good job on your spelling, by the way. I, yes, good job. I do know what I'm doing. So you can see here that ah, you yes. get results on hurricanes and tsunamis. So that, tsunamis. And that's not just saying that it has to be a website that has both of those, correct? Correct. It could be either. Either or. That's amazing. So that's why you put that or in between those two keywords. You know, one of my uh, <laughs> one of my favorite searches to do is the wildcard search. What's that? It's a little. I like to throw an asterisk in once in a while. So you you know just just anything you want. So if you wanted to do technology wildcard, and then you can find out like all sorts of just wildcard being the asterisk, and just press enter, and it'll take us take us away. So you know it's very just open. Uh, one of the one of the comments that I read was if you wanted to find specific bills that Obama had passed or or other legislature, you could put the wildcard in if you didn't know the numbers or specifically, and it will just find find them using the wildcard. So I like the wildcard. One of my sure. other favorites is to search within a site. So you can use the word S-I-T-E with a uh, colon after it, and you can search within a specific site whatever it is you're looking for. So, hmm. you know, you can... And you can do that with any site on with the internet. any site on the internet, and that's, cool. that's kind of cool. So if you're like, man, I, I know it was on this site, I know it was on this educational site that I was looking for something, you can grab that URL, put it there, and look specifically in that site. Now, you know, you, there's also search within site or domain is one of the fields in oh, the advanced search. Okay. So the typing site with the colon is going to work as another, well. Another reason but, why I need to take more look here at the advanced search, so yes. that works out. So you can, you can put the URL of the site in the advanced search here, and also look putting key words, words within that site you're looking for. I yeah. think why you might not want to use a website search engine is because it's just not as good as this. Right. Google you can is very it better. Google is very advanced. Right. Now I'll have to say there is this little exclude mark, which is like the minus sign, and I didn't really understand how to use it. I, I I'm like, oh, I don't even want to talk about that one, Jake. I don't. I figured why. Well, there there are some good uses. Um, one great example is one of my personal Heroes of science. I come Wait, from a science just, background. Did you say heroes of science? Nikola Tesla was a, a genius. A very yeah, he's not the music an amazing guy, inventor. No, he is not the rock musician band from the 80s. Oh. So we really want to <laughs> exclude that band. Wait, wait. So you're saying the minus is exclude? Excluding so we the, look up the, the hero, 80s hair band. We want to look up the <laughs> hero of science. The, the genius inventor. Wait a minute. <laughs> Most of the things that we use today are okay, a result show us of what him. You mean. Anyway. No, no. Are you saying the rock band is not genius? I will just uh, leave leave, leave my that. comments out of there. <laughs> Tesla minus rock. Let's do that. All right, let's see it. So Maybe for those minus um, band. Band. Hair band. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hair band. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and and now we've got the Tesla oh. electric car, okay, so which is coming too. up too. So if I put in minus. Um, car? Car. Vehicle. Okay. That sounds good. So it, it'll again help there. focus. Now we get into truly the inventor, Tesla. Okay. Yep. I like that. That's pretty okay. that's pretty cool.